Okay, it says we are live. <clears throat> Hi, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Upbeat Artworks Friday Live Art Demonstration. Uh, we are here every Friday. If you click back in the videos, wherever that button is, uh, you can see all the videos we've done throughout the past couple of years. Uh, it's something we started during COVID through all the lockdowns and something that we've continued on. It's just a really good way to reach folks um, and bring creativity and art to you through a live demonstration. Uh, today we have Faye and we have Kate with us. We're gonna be doing some jewelry making. Uh, always nice to be here on a Friday, a really good way to finish the week, I think. It's a nice way. So if you, whether you have the supplies, whether you don't, sit down, watch along, and just feel relaxed and enjoy seeing some art being made for you today. So I'm gonna flip this uh, phone around and introduce we have kate and faye hi how are you guys we're doing good good so we have uh we have some stuff that we want to mention right yes we do yes yes um on fridays we started featuring a uh, particular artist so uh today we're actually going to feature kate herself nice right on <laughs> <laughs> so kate kaflum now, um, she was born in Yufa, Russia in 1979. She studied education for four years and has worked as a teacher. She also has a certificate in accounting and experience as a bookkeeper. She's been drawing all her life, but only started painting two years ago after attending workshops in Studio Central. Well, it's been longer than two years now. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she does acrylic paintings that also use mixed media, collage, and recycled materials to build texture which she sees as crucial. I invent based on what I see in nature, birds, wings, natural bridges, and generic faces, she muses. In her portrait, she strives to bring up complexity by revealing the unity of the opposites. In, for example, the female aspects of males and the male characteristics of females. Kate often uses her work to discover how new ways of perceiving beauty. After every painting I do, I see things differently, she explains. She struggles with her materials to create, create, releasing her own energy and body sets into her art. And humor is another important factor in her work. Almost an additional sense, she adds. Kate looks forward to giving several workshops at Studio Central this summer, and she's been doing them ever since. <laughs> for her, art provides a spiritual and non-commercial vehicle for self-discovery, which is a part of recovery. She sees big things and small elements. She paints spontaneously and then names them. Nice. So that's her profile, which you can read when you come into Upbeat. We have profiles on almost all the artists that have come through the program. So you can, when you buy a piece from an artist, you can actually, you know, get an idea, a sense of what that artist is and what they're all about. So now we'll turn it over to Kate. Hi, and we're here to create several uh, either earrings or necklaces and the main uh, route we're taking we are starting from what I have made before uh, so earrings similar to this I have bases and these bases are bronze so these are more complicated because they just have more uh, work to do uh, and for the life that might be a little bit long. Neat. So I'm offering uh, this. That's really cool, eh? Yeah, so the base like this is quicker and I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so this one's, uh, uh, I can take this off. It just as an, it's an example of what we can do. So we could attach uh, a connector with a bead. We mm. could attach several connectors in the line with a bead or something else. We've got charms like this. There's a glass. Uh, we have all kinds of different materials we can use here. But uh, the, main thing, um, the main thing for making an earring, these are the bronze hooks we have. Uh, for a necklace, I would say it can be just a connector ring or it can be a connector ring attached to uh, another connector. Oh. 
uh, we got clasps, we got chains, we got bulk bronze chain, but I do not have bronze uh, uh, clasps. I need to make a good jewelry order soon, <laughs> so I'm waiting for what I need to order. So I definitely need the bronze uh, lobster clasps. Ooh, uh, so nice. what we have here are the hearts that are uh, silver plated. We have the regular lobster clasp. We have the green one. Yeah. So these are called lobster clasps. So if someone wants to go with green, we got different green connectors here. And we got a green chain, <laughs> cool. which is not exactly the same color. But you can either use the chain and connect connectors, put them together, or to not make a necklace and to make earrings. Uh, also, I have a pair like this. Uh, so this one is done with a base that is uh, uh, silver plated and I was using the other kind of a hook here. So what I was using was the, um, it is also a connector, but it needs to, oh, usually they are called pins. Mm -hmm. So these ones have the stopper at the end. Oh yeah. And the other kind. It almost looks like a nail. Yeah. And then there are. Oh, Jessica says hi, Kate. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> you know what? She's looking at that too. I forgot. But there's um. Oh yeah. Some artwork to show off of hers. So we mentioned. Uh, Faye mentioned Kate, and as she's sort of putting things together on the table. Uh, this is just a great example of the work that Kate has produced. And also Upbeat Artworks, we're an art store. We're located in Porridge Place on the second floor, just past the Dollarama. This is a card set. So just a cool way to take the work that Kate has produced and do it in a different kind of medium, a bit more accessible. So sometimes you may think, oh, I can't buy a painting, but you could buy a pack of cards. But yeah, this is really cool. This is a classic. <laughs> <laughs> so there are eye pins and eye pins can be uh, cut. We have the wire cutter if someone needs to oh, cut Oh yeah, wire shoulder. cutter, yeah. <clears throat> uh, so it doesn't have to be this length. So this is to attach uh, uh, from both, on both sides. So attach it to something and then attach something to it. So you can see, yeah, this is a... Uh, where can you get some of these tools if someone was wanting to get this? So I will just show a quick example of uh, being put onto a... Um... To answer your question, James, um, where you can get some of these tools. Um, you can get the tools at places like Michael's if you want to shop locally, you know, like at, at your yep. local store. Um, there's a specialty store called Poco. Oh, Poco, um, which yes. Is, uh, near Polo Park. Yeah. So it's spelled P O C O. Yeah. Um, and um, they have a Facebook page and everything. So if you want to shop a small place rather than a, a big box store like Michael's, or you can order them online, there's, you know, the jewelry tools are pretty yeah. common. Like Amazon or yeah. I know Kate, you've gotten stuff on eBay. Uh, I got used to buy from eBay when Amazon was not there yet. And mm. then when it became popular and everything, I switched to Amazon because it's faster. Yeah. Because eBay was snail mail and it mm -hmm. was not as reliable in everything. Uh, and I'd say Amazon is very good for for my area because not every company actually finds my place <laughs> i had trouble with Perlator for some reason their address systems did not get to my house for some time they were just skipping my house or bringing it to another place mm. yeah um so yeah amazon works great for me from this point of view they do know where i live <laughs> um Okay, so this is not perfect. Okay, I did okay. not put much <coughs> attention into that, but this is something oh, we can actually attach. Okay. <clears throat> so this is that thing I just showed that looked like a nail. 
So you can see, you can see the edge of it, the nail head kind of, but then Kate turned it with that piece and now you can really see what what that does that's neat so this is what i did cool. but just with a longer uh, with a longer pin and there are different sizes that they say i usually do not cut them at all because i look for the size that is good for what i'm doing cool and there is this i hope you can put more than one bead on it or you can uh, put several different kinds of beads, so that's quite a quite an interesting thing to work with. Cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting to beads now. So okay. what we have is beads. Uh, we have charms too. We have the key charms. We have elephants. We have leaves, so they can be painted as well. And we got the. Um, Scarabs. Oh, I was gonna say a scarab. Yeah. Okay, so these are the charms I showed. So this is we have wooden and black. Another black package. These are just different sizes. This is a different kind of uh, golden. This is a bit bigger, and we got this kind. Nice. So, uh, except of that, I have the green beads that I used for. These earrings. Okay. One second. My phone just rotated. <laughs> <coughs> and okay, let's do this for now before we fix it. It's okay, good. So this is what we have got. And I'll uh, put them here. If someone comes and wants to join us, we have another chair. Cool. We're wait, waiting. <laughs> Uh, so this is what we got here. Also, we have these little pins. These have little balls at the end, and these are very different. They're very soft. So if someone has trouble in bending thicker mm -hmm. wire, they can have this because they're easier to bend. Okay. Okay, so this is to try for someone, if you want to try. Uh, but uh, the primary uh, idea of mine was to do something like that. So these are all the options I got. Mm -hmm. Different beads, so you can look at beads here. These are the wooden ones. Okay. And then another one has the charm on it and the connected uh, several pieces. You can look at which, okay. which one's working the best. And then the connectors, we have a different sizes. I got green and purple uh, with this we need to consider when then they're colored uh, you need to be really careful because they uh, whatever they're painted with can chip off when you, you work with it right 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 we have the curved nose pliers and i use curved nose pliers and sometimes we use this to even up and go in if it's uh, smaller than i usually use a curve pieces that is hard to get into with this too. Cool. Uh, we have these clasps. These are sunflowers. Okay, so you decide what you wanna sure. work with. Sure. <clears throat> okay. So the bases, again, the bases are this ones, unless you want to keep this one, <laughs> if you wanna work more. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. All right, so uh, I believe that these are good to use, the smaller ones, but they, it might be hard to attach them to a base. So if you find it's harder, just attach a regular ring and then attach the second one. Okay. And I find it looks a bit better when you have a longer, uh, like on this one, I want it to be longer, but it can be just my own vision. Doesn't have to be really so mm -hmm. it can attach more than one, and I think it looks better when you attach more than yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because this one looks like an example, but I'm not sure it looks good. For yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So the additional rings would give it more like the hanging. Right. You know? yeah. uh, they call for a little bit yeah. longer. Uh, yeah, attachments. How cool how are they called? <laughs> Okay, so this is the center. If you, I'll just show what I got here. 
So we got, I got another block for myself. There are blue ones you can have. There are light blue ones you can have. Light blue. Oh. Which ones do you want? Clear, red? Um, I would maybe take these. These ones? Yeah, it's very gold. Yeah. 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 What do you want? Um, none of those. I need some jump rings. Though. Jump rings. Okay. The smaller size. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, what? Oh, no. oh. Yeah. I'll do that. I don't think that many. Yeah, I don't think I think paper I'm a little Yeah. I won't have time today to do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the smaller size, but if you find trouble, we have bigger. Okay. Um, okay, so do you want bigger or smaller? I think I'll try bigger just because I know I'm a bit clumsy with the um the jewel the jewelry um, pliers. Okay, so I will just use this. Yeah, cool. Nice. Okay, you know what? I will. They got mixed up here. I will give you the whole two uh, packages here, sure. and you can just look. I don't know what is it. Some seed got in it. <laughs> it is. So just look at them. Uh, that they're the same size. Yeah. And I got the bigger kind. Like this but it would be way too big for mm. I don't know unless you want to use this sevens. I think I'll try these this yeah okay. it's interesting how like um I forget how much patience you need when you uh when you work with this jewelry when I've been patience like um accuracy uh it's both So I'm using the smaller kind, and then I'm going to work with the black charm, or maybe I'll, I don't know, I like the black charm. Yeah. And I could use the black beads. The, uh, oh, so I, I can actually put this wire through this. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. So usually when I do that, I hold it with the tool. So yeah. I open it up. Um, okay, so I just hold one side with the tool. Yeah. Like and this? it's as close as it can get. It's as close as it can get. Okay. Then I open it with my hand. I okay. just open it this way. Cool. Put the charm on. So it goes through. Neat. Feels and then good. I touch it. But it's hard sometimes, it's hard because it takes a lot of space to actually operate. So if you cannot close it directly, you can use a couple more rings and make it longer. So we'll see if I can do this. So I got, so you can see I have the equipment, the tool, and now I have the little hoop and I bent it open. And now I'm gonna put this piece onto here. And it goes on just like that. So this is what I got. Cool, it looks really good. And then Kate has, this is, you can see it's finished and sort of put onto it already. Neat. So my choice would be either gold or black. So I'm thinking gold, black, both. Um, I don't know. Why not just black? Quite black. And you know what I did not mention? This uh, base has a little space here, so you can leave it open and fill it with Mod Podge uh, or um, color, acrylic or anything else, mm -hmm. resin. But I also have this, uh, where did I put them? Here. I got the rhinestones. Mm. So I would show the rhinestone on this base. 
So let's say, okay, I will use just paper, I guess. So which color do I want to use here? So uh, for jeans, that could be like this yellow maybe, or clear. Where am I, where am I gonna put the reds from? Uh, so I would show on the base that I have, I would show how the clear looks like. That's the other side. Oh, neat. Like, yeah, 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 nice. So this is where it goes. So we have yeah. the crazy glue. The crazy glue. Oh, right. okay. But it's an operation. So we're not going to do it during the live because it might take a lot of focus and everything. So let's say we'll we'll take some pictures of that finished product yes. with the jewel. Crazy so uh, this one is clear, and that's what I can use <laughs> on mine. I think the yellow like this would look good on yours. I think yeah, I'm gonna keep everything like yellowish. And I'll give you brassy, one just... brassy and yellow. Yeah. I think these are the same colors. It's really delicate. Yeah, our rhinestones are really hard to operate. So, uh, and this is the small kind, so I do like them. Yeah, I like the way that looks. The Thank yellow you. and the brassiness will look good. Do you want the rhinestone for... Oh, cool. Sweet. Oh, <laughs> so I cool. made a little bit of a chain using a couple of jump rings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to make one of the <coughs> keys dangle lower so that the keys aren't all bunched up. So you can see this with Faye is working on. Really cool. Neat. Do you want rhinestones? Sure. Um, I love that. The keys really suit the, the whole vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Set your own mm -hmm. making a pendant out of it. Something I can wear. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I could do some rhinestones. Um, do you have anything in yellow or clear? I have. Okay, let's just. I need to take out more of that. I can take all of them out. <laughs> I just go through the whole thing. Okay, so I have clear one. Is this one? This is clear, I think. Just look better than me, because I don't see well. There are too many of them. And I have this one. So I have packages for rhinestones mm -hmm. I can use. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to glue them right here. You can take them home and glue them at home. I think I'll, I'll probably glue mine before. Yeah. We're here. Um, yeah, make sure I give you the same kind. <laughs> if you pass me the glue, I'm going to... I will say to folks watching at home, I was very new to this, and the first time I ever learned how to like use this type of tool was through Kate. And the first time I couldn't... I couldn't even do what I'm doing right now with these things, but now I can. Mm -hmm. So practice uh, makes perfect. <laughs> Not that it's perfect, but... <laughs> so everyone got the rhinestone? Yeah. Oh, I think they are. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're the same. They're the same. Okay. Uh, I see one, and I know that I took two. See, I did. <laughs> got this. Awesome. Okay. So when we talk about um, attaching things, uh, I know that someone would paint it to bronze. I usually, if there are no bronze ones, I'll wait until I have the bronze ones. So I just show it for an example. I know I chose two, but I see only one. <laughs> 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 
Oh, choose another one then. Oh, well. Okay, got two clear ones. Good. Yes. So now I just need to put everything back. <laughs> this is a tiny charm that says, I love my cat. <laughs> I was going to, uh, some days I do not bring rocks and mm -hmm. I will leave some, uh, a couple of crop things in the garden for artists to do a central oh, to yeah, pick yeah, up and yeah. look on something. Yeah. How's Ace? Oh, he's doing good. Yeah. Speaking of cats. Yeah, he's doing way better since there is no heat like we had a couple oh, weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, because he was just not happy about that. Yeah, same. Our cats were, we have, we don't have an air conditioning at home. So we, um, I like it. The cats are just spread eagles. <laughs> <laughs> they just stare at you like, I'm not the same. several things yesterday um, but I did not make it to order supplies and I thought okay I forgot again <laughs> but I'm still gathering what I need to order my thoughts together because mm -hmm. I'm not sure if, if we are done with the bases I do not need the bronze ones anymore because I don't have anything else I wanted to make with the bronze things so I thought, okay, I'll just attach the jump rings or uh, connectors. All right. Yeah, I feel much more confident opening and closing these little rings now. Okay, so I'm just picking uh, these black ones. Uh, just, just black. All right, so again, I hold it with the tool, bend it either front or back. I uh, turn it away from myself in this case, but you know what? I never think about things like that because it all goes mindlessly because it doesn't matter to me at all. <laughs> so I cannot say either it's there or there until I notice, actually notice. And then I just, uh, I want to make one row and see how it looks like together with the charm. How's the crazy blue stitch? <laughs> On my fingers. I was going to say, don't get your fingers. <laughs> That's always... Crazy glues be crazy. Crazy glues be crazy. <laughs> I was never into gluing things and I do not like the feel so I use it only when it's really necessary <laughs> I try not to use it too often Okay. What 
do you think? I think it looks good like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would not make more. I would just make one roll. And then glue. Oh, extra. I got a pink one. Escaped. <laughs> Since the, the, the smaller ones I do for this, what? I want to do. What color do you have? So what we have here? Uh, Maybe gold. Gold. Yeah. So we got two different golds, fancy and simple. Maybe the fancy. This is the fancy, right? Uh, no, this is the this fancy. Is the <laughs> I call this one fancy. This is simple. <laughs> I'll use the fancier one. It's more blingy. <laughs> yeah. different because they're from different sets so this ones I find they're closer to the base but you might find these are closer to the base I don't know they're just different kinds mm -hmm. Last time we did not turn the music off mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was Megan's music and I usually do not listen to music while I'm doing something. We should just listen to like super loud music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a little bit different for me. Just the feel and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like from the TV? Oh, then yeah, we had the music here. Yeah. Okay. I usually during the live I turn it off because yeah, yeah. I find it's, it's distracting. To yeah. to it's hard to focus. focus. Yeah. It does require like concentration. Yeah. yeah, and you want everything to be nice and even. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. I mean, it's so funny. Down the, the hall, I saw. I see everything is set up for Christmas. <laughs> yes, and uh, it it looks really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> That's for the movie they've been shooting. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I just even everything up with my fingers. If mm -hmm. if they're too thick, sometimes they I like the the ones that are hard to open. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes I even need to use two tools, but not for these ones. This can be operated with just uh, uh, one tool. Okay. What does that look like? Oh, that's nice. You're so fast. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have some of these black beans? Mm -hmm. 
And you have the other kind of blood beads. They are bigger. Yeah, I want the smaller. Yeah, smaller ones. Okay. I got a I got a new uh, prescription, so now I can see things like close. Oh, right. Yeah, it's like really struggling with that. Oh, so you yeah. got new contacts? Yeah, new contacts. So I close the, what are they called again? Like the small little metal rings? Jump rings. Jump rings. I use to call them connectors. Connectors. They're all connectors to me. They don't, because uh, what I call jump rings are the other kinds. So it's, I'll show what I mean. I got them here. What I would call a jump ring, the one there, you, know, you see. Oh, um, those I mean? are split rings. Oh, yeah. yeah. I call them jump rings, <laughs> so it's different. I bought them as jump rings. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have four more to go. Attach the hook. So I would show how to attach the hook. Mm -hmm. You are done with one, right? Yes. So I usually go through the hooks and look uh, for ones that look more like similar because in the same package they can look differently. I'm just looking for approximately. I don't say they should be exact same, but not to differ too much as well. Let's say, okay, I chose these two. So I will just take a hook, hold this little thing, the little ball that is at the end, move, move it out, put the earring on, the front, check in that the front is here, and close it. Oh, and that's for the, yeah, the actual hook that goes to the ear. And then I just look from the front if it's looking good enough to put it the top or anything, and like sometimes there are little tiny things on this hole that are, it's the way it was made. So I could just, Use the tool to take it off, or I could choose a different hook. Or sandpaper. Or a wire cutter. So I do not like this ball at all. So I can 
if I don't like it, I can replace it, or I can just take it off, or I can do something with it. Or for now, I will take a different here because it doesn't work perfectly, or I could try to. extra small jump rings or, or, or um, connector rings is uh, a little more difficult. Yeah. I have, the, I have the bigger ones that I like. I just don't like this. This also gives can give people like a better sense of the work and the craftsmanship that goes into jewelry making. Yeah. Because it's not just people see jewelry, the finished product on a rack, and you know they're just like, oh, it's earrings. But no, there's actually a lot of stuff behind the scenes that goes into. It. sometimes it's just gathering yourself together for that piece uh -huh. because it took me how many years to actually get to this point. Yeah. <laughs> this particular base I had for more than two years and I just did not get to it for some reason okay so this is what I got for now this is one earring sweet so what's left is just a rhinestone. I think I'm ready to put hooks on mine. Ooh, perfect. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, okay so, so this is, I can just attach it right away so I'm not looking for this hook after. You said you removed that little ball? I uh, know I just took a different one. Okay. Because I have a, the extra one here that I can replace. Just I'll get to it after. Get to it on the feet. My jump room just jumped. I see two. <laughs> well, I see four or five. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. I'll go through that after. This and I just pop my. So I gotta make sure that the air is facing the right way. So that's what's left is just the glue. <laughs> the so now I just, I just have to put the. <laughs> For well, me, it's the hardest part. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's also the rhinestone so small. I think like, the, here, I'll do. <laughs> this. You can barely see it at the tip of my finger. 
full of rhinestone. <laughs> So here's one Faye made. It's really cool. I love the elephant on it, eh? Mm -hmm. And with like and the, the black. black beads. Yeah. The little nice on black shirt. Yep. So I made two, two pants. Yeah. Two pants. Yeah. Are you going to go for more? <laughs> Do I have here? I have the chains. If you want to make a chain for your dentist, I was thinking I was going to do a Kumihino chain. Yeah? Okay. So now I'm going to do the glue. So, Faye, when you pour cape, uh, do you just put like a dollop of glue on the actual earring and then put the rhinestone in there? That's what I did. Oh, you put the rhinestones on the sides. Because what I thought of was a different spot. <laughs> okay, so that's a different idea to put a rhinestone in that. Almost done here. <laughs> you want to have, um, you know what? I I have trouble with doing that myself. <laughs> crazy glue and so I'd say crazy glue and rhinestones are really hard for me. <laughs> Yeah, you want to have this? 
color challenge. And we have this guy, which is just simpler. Let's see, which one? Ooh, and then you have smaller ones. So we have smaller ones like this. Yeah. So this is what I made. Cute. And this is the spot I'm putting the rhinestone in, okay. right here. Okay. And the rhinestones are in this package. Okay. I don't know if you want to work with this. I got crazy glue here. Um, these ones do not require a rhinestone, but they would require to measure, like not to measure, but to know how many rings you have to, reach to attach them. Because I don't have the bronze ones, so we just have the gem rings. Okay. So how many you want to attach to it? We got different colors. We got also we got the purple ones and green ones, but these are harder to operate because metal can be sensitive. Uh, not the metal, but paint can chip. Oh, okay. so it, yeah. I like gold. Everything. I like gold. Mm -hmm. So if you want to add gold, we got these ones. Gold is also this fancy gold beads. Oh, yes. and there are the other gold beads. Oh. So if you want to put this. And uh, so this is basically putting a bead on. Let's see. Okay, so let's say one, two, I would say two. It's green, Jay. Yeah. All the way. Okay. Making a hook. So I just want to see if that is enough for okay. here. And then it can be attached, like it can be even up and everything. Okay. Right. So I just quickly made it to see if that, so that's something that would go here, basically. Yeah. So if you just go to it. So it's, okay. if you want to do something like that, that would be, it could be the first row and then second row can be the same different row. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I, I would just see these guys here. This is pretty. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. And then let me see. I got other kind and it's so if you do not have enough of this, mm -hmm. I got more here. Okay. So it's the same length. It just <laughs> You tried <laughs> using the, the rhinestones again. Didn't I you? did, I think I got it. Yeah. So kind of. <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I've never yeah. actually worked with these before. Uh, that might be a little bit of a challenge at first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all so, um, painted one. Yeah. 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 Just uh, putting a rhinestone in, and the rhinestones I chose are the clear ones. So I did these two. Oh, cool. oh, do you want this piece for the pendant? No, I'm good. No? Yep. Beautiful. This is fun. Okay, so the first step is to do this. Okay, so the first step, uh, I'll show it again. So I just did not do it perfectly. It's okay. So I put two beads on it. Yeah. Or you can put one bead if you think it's too much because sometimes it's too much. So let's try with one bead. Sure. One bead. Yeah. And then, oh, sorry, wrong two. Oh, it's that one. Okay, yeah. So, Kerba uh, took the very end. Let's say not the very end, but like this. Okay. And then we'll start curving to the other side, but the top, starting from the top. Make a hook. It curves. And it's just your own judgment there. Okay. Of how you do it, what you press, because it's more of an individual thing of how people do that. And then if it's hard to get in, sometimes it's hard to even it up, we could use this tool 
to actually make it bigger, get in because that other two would not get in, and make changes like whatever we can curve, whatever we cannot curve. It's not perfect to me. So, I mean, this is one bead and it's two beads, so you can try both variants and see how you do it hmm. yourself. So while you two continue to work, um, I'm going to wrap up the live, but you, you'll keep working on jewelry. And what we'll do is we will take pictures and uh, we'll post the pictures of some of the finished work that, we're, we've, um, that we've made. So you'll be able to see what we can actually um, create uh, when we actually sit down to do this jewelry I making. I'll show one very quickly. Sure. I'm trying to put the rhinestone in, it's the other side of the mm. rhinestone, go in, go in. Okay, so this is, I just need to glue it. Okay, this is what I got for now. Cool, the rhinestone really pops. Mm. Yeah. I love it. So, uh, yeah, so that's... The hardest thing for me is to actually attach the rhinestone. I will go with the simplest way for me and see how that goes. Cool. <laughs> okay. So I just want to say thank you, Kate. Thank you again. So Kate, we featured Kate today. You can see the work that she's creating today, but also she is an artist here at Upbeat Artworks. So those are the cards, but let's show that the painting on the wall. So this is one of the paintings that Kate has created. Uh, actually, I'll come around to it. So this painting is available at Uppy Artworks. Uh, there we go. So this painting is available at Upbeat Artworks. Uh, it's called Elephant Sky, 18 by 24, $150. Just a beautiful painting done by Kate. Thank you, Pei. Um, and we'll be here next Friday, uh, another live art demo. So have a happy long weekend, everyone. And uh, we'll see you next week.